Logan, I mean, what was it like, let's start with the fact that Al Pacino is in this and you're working with him. What was that like when you was, you know, given this opportunity? That was great. It was so, it was so great. I mean, Al, we're all big fans of you. We love you so much. And uh, to meet Al in person for the first time, you'd know that he's just a lovely, uh, humble, you know, disarming presence, and who always wears yeah. black, who always like all just, of like, us. Like, yeah. just like, just like, yeah. yeah. And uh, we just had a really good time. You know, we both like to work hard and enjoyed this experience. It's great. Let's talk about the show. I've seen it last night and today. It's incredible. I think it's going to be you. humongous. And Al, this is your, you. the first TV series you've done. Yes. Um, why this? What? What? Why did this come to light for you? I saw. You know, I, I read the, the text. Usually, is what uh, drives me to do anything and, and encourages me to do anything. And I, I, I liked it very much. I, I, I thought it had um, this uh, this quality of. Uh, it was interesting. It wasn't the usual kind of thing, and it had the, a very interesting take on 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 the on the story. And I, I really enjoyed it. So then I thought I would meet with the writer and the producers. And um, uh, I don't know if you were involved yet, no? I, I was, yeah. You were? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I met with them, and, and it was fun to talk to them and, and where they were going with it. And David Weil, who wrote it. So I, I was very encouraged by that. And I just felt this. Uh, I only had read the first episode, so uh, I, I realized what after they told me where they were going, what direction they were taking. And I felt I could go somewhere with it myself. So I was, I immediately. You were in. I was in. Logan, it's, it has a violent side to this show, but also a bit of comedy in there as well. There's a lot of different things yeah, in this show. It's, yeah, it, it has, a, on that note, it has a bit of Tarantino about it, don't you think? Like the way it kind of looks and, uh, yeah. The fact that it has lots of different I, I, th I think people like to try to find the connection to Tarantino based off of, you know, the Nazi hunting right. element. But it's it's very different. I mean, there's so many different tones in here. and um, Well, like Tarantino's yeah. unpredictable, too. So yeah, he's unpredictable. There's surprises yeah. in this thing. So that's what I mean, yeah, yeah, full of surprises. surprises. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's different in the sense that, I mean, I mean especially when people try to, you know, connect it to, like, Inglorious Bastards or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's very different in terms of what we're exploring here. And, and at the center of this, <clears throat> this story, it's really an ethical question about uh, how to combat evil. It's about, you know, does it take evil to fight evil or can you be a good guy? Can you keep your morality and your ethics intact and still combat, you know, uh, you know bad intentions, you know, people with bad intentions? So that's really what the show is, but it's not really like in, you know, it's the same as Inglorious or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But if you like killing Nazis, you'll like this show. You like that. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, let's talk about both your characters, mm -hmm. um, just quickly for people that haven't seen it yet. Like mm -hmm. most, um, who do you both play, and what what are they? Well, I play Meyer Offerman, who is a very wealthy um, businessman, in, in investment kind of fella, who uh, has this, lives in this mansion, and is quite. Uh, secretive and his private life is uh, sort of and what his business world is uh, it just uh, they, they don't come into play they don't come into consideration but what he wants to do is very clear and his relationship with uh, uh, Logan's grandmother or Jonah he plays Jonah is very um, uh, interesting different and what he wants to do with Jonah and what his plans are. His background is part of his mystery, I think. And, and, and when I did the role, David Weil explained a lot of it to me. So it's sort of there and not there. I don't know. Uh, okay. And, and I played Jonah uh, Heidelbaum. And at the beginning of the series, he's uh, you know, suffered a great tragedy. He's lost his grandmother, and he's trying to find out why uh, she was murdered. He's trying to figure out why anybody would do this and who would do this. And he gets uh, sucked into this group uh, of, of, uh, of hunters, these people that are working to locate and identify Nazis that are living in the U.S. Uh, after World War II. And that's pretty much my character in yeah. the show in a nutshell. Well, you play it very well, I must say. Hey, thank Al, you. being a massive fan that I am, 
can we do a small little quiz? And Logan, you can help us out. A quiz? Yeah, just uh, you're, I'm going to say three famous lines from three of your most famous movies, and you're just going to complete the line, if you can remember. The Godfather, 1972. Make him an offer you can't refuse. It's not that one. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right. It's, it's gonna what is this one? Yeah. It's, it's going to be a bit harder. Okay. Don't tell me you're innocent, because it insults my... Intelligence? Yes. <laughs> and makes me... Very angry. Yes! Yeah. One out of one. There we go. That's okay. so cool. Senate of a Woman, 1992. You're in no position to disagree. I've got a loaded... 25! Oh my God, and okay. You, and, and any given Sunday, of course, 99. Yeah. Uh, on any given Sunday, you're going to win or you're going to lose. The point is... The point is, how, how do you play? How to play? Can you win or... Can you win or lose? Can you win or lose like a man? I've, I've put hard ones in there, Al. I've done hard really, ones. Those are they hard. are hard. They're, hard. They're good lines, I must say. It's beautiful. They're harder. Yeah. Um, one more question I want to ask you, and don't answer it if you don't want to, please. Sure. It's just a, a feeling from me. Something about your career, that the, one of the bravest moves I think you made, mm -hmm. as a 75 uh, dog day afternoon, when you played a guy that was in a relationship with another guy, that was a brave move from you as an actor, such an alpha male masculine actor to do back then. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Uh, yeah, it was sort of a, a, a new thing, yeah, someone in a position like that now. But it was also so well written, and it was directed by Sidney Lumet, and, and it, it had uh, a humanity to it that I thought, and the character and all that. So those are the things I was looking at, really. And, uh, and, in, and I guess, hopefully, in, in the things I do, it's usually that. That's what I go by. That's my guide. And that it affects, and I, I hope it affected those movements in a positive way. I, I think it did. Then, then I'm, uh, I'm just grateful for that. But mainly it's basically the story content, the characters, and if they're human, then, then uh, you can find the humanity. Then, then that's the fun of doing it, really. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.